So, Johnny, one of the biggest things I think fans for Packers and people are just maybe concerned with is the offensive line. When you look at just the guys that they lost in free agency, as well as just trying to have more depth when you talk about the offensive line and obviously protecting Jordan Love. For you, how much do you think that the Packers will invest into the O-line through this draft? I think it's going to be a, a good investment. I, they, they're going to maybe can go up a little bit and maybe get that, that offensive lineman, whether it's a tackle or guard. I mean, this, this Packers have, the organization has done a great job of having guys on that, on that line that can go both ways. I mean, they got a solid starting five right now, but beyond that, and you said the word depth, they need to go out and find someone that's going to be quality, just be able to step right in. Johnny, another thing is obviously a big offseason loss for the Packers came with Aaron Jones deciding to go to Minnesota and the loss of him and obviously just him spending his entire career up until this point in Green Bay. In the offseason, they go and they get another running back in Josh Jacobs, though, from the Raiders, A.J. Dillon coming back for another year. For you, though, can you see a scenario where the Packers do possibly draft another running back, though, in this year's draft? I think so. I really feel that they uh, – I'm not sure how much – they, they did it hurt uh, Coach LaFleur's offense when we saw uh, Aaron go down in the early, it was a Chicago game. Um, and so they, I, I, would think, I would think that they would go out and get another running back with that slim, similar mentality, similar style of play that can keep that offense going. Mm -hmm. And we also, I mean, you've got Emmanuel Wilson as well in there too. So mm -hmm. they do have guys now, but like you said, it just helps to have some of that depth too, and we'll see what ends up happening with that if they do decide to get a running back in this draft. They've got 11 picks, so it's not like mm -hmm. they don't have the ability to maybe do that. So. I think Coach LaFleur wants to have an explosive offense. He wants that running back to get out and catch the ball, be able to have that speed, be able to read the, the, the offensive lineman, be able to have that, that quickness and elusive, elusive uh, ability to be able to get in there and get down the field and make those long, explosive plays, and I think that's what he's going to be looking for. Johnny, last year's draft, we saw the Packers get a lot of receivers that I don't think at the time people knew how much of an impact they were going to make yeah. last season, but we saw them have an immediate mm -hmm. impact. You talk about Jane Reed, you talk about Dontavian Wicks, even though the Packers took those guys last year and have a solid room, you've got Romeo Dobbs already, but I know Christian Watson has dealt with his injuries. Do you feel like the Packers could take a wide receiver though in this year's draft or maybe even two wide receivers? Well, I, I think you definitely have to go after one. You just talked about uh, Dobson and um, – or Watson, I'm sorry. And um, because of the hamstring injuries that he's had. And so you need a, a, a speed receiver. You want somebody that can get down there and stretch the field. And, and, and that's what, you know, he did and when he had a chance to get on the football field. So I, I think, yes, we do have a couple, very complimentary receivers we had last year. It did a fantastic job. But I think they're still looking for that deep threat. I mean, that one where you just get out there, hey, go get it. And uh, Watson did that when he was healthy. He just stole that ball out there. And that, and that gentleman drew, drew a lot of attention. And uh, I think you do go after a speed receiver. Yeah, and, and Bo Melton also, we kind of saw mm -hmm. him sort of come alive for the Packers towards the end of the season. But like you said, I think that's always the big thing is people look and they're like, who's that true number one receiver mm -hmm. for the Packers? Not that it's a bad thing to have guys that can do different things, but depth, like mentioned, is, is big at that position. So I think with them having 11 picks and because of how much talent there are, <laughs> they could afford to probably add yes. another wide receiver because also yes. they preach competition as well. Now, when you look at the Packers defense, there's a lot of needs and we've talked about just wanting to add some depth as well. And obviously having a new defensive coordinator and Jeff Halfley mm -hmm. and what he wants to do defensively. When you look at the draft, do you think that the Packers will prioritize trying to add when it comes to the edge rushers or do you think they'll prioritize more maybe trying to add some depth to the linebackers with what they want to do defensively? Geez, oh, I'm, I'm thinking a little bit of both, right? Mm -hmm. Ignabari came, had a great latter part of the year until he got injured there, and, and he was start, just starting to come on and be in his own, put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. I think in this, in this defense, you want pressure. He wants to see pressure on that quarterback. Uh, and so it, it deep, whether it's the end or whether it's the, a linebacker play, I mean, you get three stud linebackers back there flying around making plays to the ball, then that can make a difference in your game. Yeah, and I know that Quay Walker, he, we dealt with, he dealt with some injuries last year, and Isaiah McDuffie, we saw him come in a little bit as well last year, get a little bit of reps, but it would be good for them to add someone. They lost to Andre Campbell as well, and I know that the linebacker position is going to be super important with the defense. 
tight ends that, that the Packers faced last year or throughout the league are, man, they're quick, they're strong, they're faster, they get down the field, they're almost used as wide receivers. That linebacker, even though he's got to be a good run stopper, he's got to be able to have that ability to be able to get back there in that deep, that 12, 15, 17 yard range, be able to make a play on the ball. Do you think that it's more important for the Packers when you look at going into this next season for them to find a safety or a corner that could come in and maybe try to make an immediate impact? What do you think the Packers need more? I'm going to go with a corner. Mm. Yes, uh, I think they, they, they address a little bit of the need with uh, McKinley. Um, in the off season, he's a sideline to sideline guy, uh, very high football IQ. Um, and so I think you're looking against speed because it seems like the last couple of years with the corners, hand pull hammies, things like that, and you mm -hmm. can't, growing injuries. Um, so you got to, I, I, I'd go corner. You mentioned the injuries with the cornerback situation, mm -hmm. Jair missing a ton of time last season. Eric Stokes, yes, uh, like he's just had so many injuries mm -hmm. to deal with. So they got to try and, and get a corner in there. And I know Carrington Valentine, mm -hmm. obviously their seventh rounder last year, got a lot of reps this year, but it would be good for them to have someone that could come in because who knows if injuries may plague that room again this year. Absolutely.